What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out celebrities who injured WWE wrestlers for real, man. We're gonna check this out. This should be a good one, man. I'm looking forward to this video. Sometimes the celebrities they get a little bit too, too uh, uh I guess you could say aggressive or stiff in the ring because they're not wrestlers, so they don't really know. Sometimes you gotta kind of restrain yourself, can't get too excited out there. So this should be an interesting one. Appreciate all the love and support. We're almost at 80k. We're a few thousand away. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Also, go check check out, subscribe to Tap Out Corner. They have some dope videos informative videos that you know you may not have known about certain wrestlers or or things that happen in wrestling so let's get right into this one looking forward to it a celebrity appear in wwe but things can go wrong like what happened to the big show the seven foot tall wrestler returned to wwe in 2008 and it became a very memorable moment Big Show walked out to the ring and decided to make an impact on his first night back by attacking oh, Rey Mysterio, man, who had Ray. just lost a match. Big Show was about to deliver a fatal blow to the masked wrestler, but was interrupted when undefeated boxer Floyd Mayweather jumped over this. the barricade and into the ring. Big Show stood about a foot- I remember this. I remember watching this, and I was just like, yo, this is really about to happen. They are really setting up a feud be between Floyd Mayweather and the big show i that's that's wild <laughs> i was just like what a time we living in where the big show is about to go toe to toe with floyd mayweather but and a half taller than mayweather and decided to taunt the boxer by getting on his knees big mistake floyd delivered several fast punches that broke big show's nose this wasn't a trick. The yeah. boxer actually hurt Big Show. Before Damn. the show, however, Big Show had told Floyd Mayweather to actually hit him to get fans excited. However, Big Show also said he would lose control of himself for the first 5-10 seconds after the punch, so Mayweather was legitimately running for his life. Dang, I do remember him being bloodied up or whatnot, but it makes sense because he was throwing punches. He wasn't pulling his punches. He was throwing them, and it... He, he was kind of unprotected, bro. Broke his broke his nose. It made for a good visual, but it was just like, damn. Like, <laughs> he legit. Hey, I, I will always say this. It doesn't matter what class, weight a boxer is. A boxer is a dangerous person. If that is what they do primarily for a living, their hands are legal weapons, and they can do some serious damage. This wrestler sort of had this injury coming to him. In 2011, Wolverine himself, Hugh Jackman, mm -hmm. was guest hosting Raw. Dolph Ziggler came out and confronted the actor and shared a pretty hot take. I get it, Cleveland is the town of the underdog. That underdog is just another word for loser. Jackman didn't agree with Ziggler and decided to find an underdog in WWE to fight the United States champion. Wolverine- I think this was, yeah, when he was, when Zack Ryder, he, he brought out Zack Ryder. Hey, man, shout out. I, I think he, I forgot his name in the independent scene, but he's made a name for himself. He's just winning uh, championships. I want to say it's Cordana or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure I messed that up. Let me, y'all know who I'm talking about. He, what he goes by in the independent scenes. He has made a name for himself. I believe I've said this in a previous video. Dude is winning championships after championships in different companies. And I love that. I love that for him. He made a name for himself in WWE because WWE was not about to push him until he got over on YouTube. And they didn't like that. Let's be honest. They did not like him getting over on YouTube. He got over on YouTube, bro. And now he's getting over in the independent scene. Do I see him coming back to WWE? I don't know. Maybe if the money's right and if the booking is correct, you know, crazier things have happened as of recent uh recent months and uh years so i don't know but right now he's doing well for himself and i love to see that ended up picking zach Ryder. during Ryder and ziggler's match Dolph's manager vicky guerrero smacked a law and island loudmouth hugh jackman decided to return the favor and punch Dolph yep. ziggler in the face allowing Ryder to hit the rough rider and win the match for someone who isn't a wrestler, that punch Jackman gave looked real. And that's because it was. Damn. Backstage, Dolph told Jackman to punch him hard. Because if Jackman didn't, the crowd would boo the X-Men star. Hugh Jackman agreed, but was going to punch Ziggler in the shoulder or neck. But accidentally hit him in the Damn. face. The punch fractured Dolph Ziggler's jaw and wow. he had to wear a mouth guard for a little while. Jackman felt bad about the accident and sent Ziggler a case of beer as an apology. 
case of beer. Why would you pay for my goddamn medical bills? <laughs> Wolverine. Goddamn. <laughs> got the anthem. Uh, I can't even. What's that shit? I, fi- I can't even pronounce it. Uh, the... The anthem, man, I can't pronounce it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The the metal in his bones. Um, bro, hold on, man. Hold on. I got to pronounce this correctly because I'm going to feel like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to feel bad if I don't. Wolverines. I'm doing this live. Wolverine. God damn it. Adamantium. There we go. I don't know why I'm, his adamantium in his body was still there. They didn't, you know, take it out from the movies. So that's what happened. I I did not want the comic people coming at me because I love me some Wolverine. If, if you're going to say it, you got to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I still can't believe she did this. In the lead up to the 1000th episode of Raw, all kinds of celebrities and stars from WWE's past made special appearances. One of them was singer Sidney Lauper, who appeared at the first WrestleMania in 1985 Damn. and helped introduce WWE into the mainstream. She hadn't been in a WWE ring since then, so her return to Raw in 2012 was a big moment. Unfortunately, it was interrupted by Heath Slater. The one-man band said he had the to share his new band. single, and he turned Raw into a concert. Luckily, Rowdy Piper came out to cut Slater off. Hot Rod didn't just come to save everyone's ears, though. Piper also had a gift for Sidney Lauper. He gave the singer a framed record on behalf of WWE as a thank you for helping make wrestling as popular as it is. Heath Slater could have cared less and began singing again. Sidney Lauper had enough and decided to shut the one-man band once and for all. The attack did some damage to Slater as the WWE star actually started bleeding. The WWE camera crew quickly saw what had happened and kept the camera off of Slater's face. Who would have thought that Sidney Lauper wow, would have busted someone open? That's crazy. This one was really mean. In the late 90s, WWE decided to try something new. Yep, the whole boxing situation. And I was like, oh, WWE. Would, like, they, it was basically shoot fights. Like, legit shoot fights at that point. I was like, oh, WWE, what are you doing? Well, WWF at the time, but what are you Real doing? Real fights. Yeah, the company fight. had a tournament called the Brawl for All, where uh-huh. wrestlers would get into the ring and actually fight one another. Yep. The man who ended up winning the tournament was Bart Gunn, which seems great, except it was actually the worst thing that could have happened to him. The higher-ups at WWE wanted a different wrestler named Steve Williams to win, but Gunn beat him. WWE wasn't going to let it slide, so they decided to do something pretty mean. At WrestleMania 15, WWE put Bart Gunn in one more Brawl for All match. Gunn's opponent wasn't another WWE wrestler though, instead it was Butterbean who was an actual boxer. While Bart Gunn did win the tournament, he was a wrestler, not a fighter. Yeah. Not surprising then, Butterbean knocked Bart Gunn out in 35 seconds. God damn! Luckily, Bart Gunn wasn't seriously hurt, but it was a pretty embarrassing moment. Adding insult to injury, WWE would fire Bart Gunn shortly after being knocked out by Butterbean. Damn, that's cold-blooded. Damn! (laughs) Bro, that's messed up. Not only are we going to send a real boxer to KO your ass, we're going to send you your pink slips, too, on your way out. When you leave the hospital, yeah. Or not on your way to the hospital while you are all messed up and concussed, yeah. That's cold. After leaving WWE, Jeff Jarrett would begin a feud with radio personality Beetlejuice. Double J started the rivalry when he hit Beetle on the head with his iconic guitar. What the Jarrett fuck? didn't realize it at the time, but he was going to regret this decision. The next week, Jeff Jarrett was competing in a match against Booker T, with the winner becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. Because of the match stipulation, the title belt was hidden inside of one of four boxes hanging above the ring. After a la- That's a weird time in wrestling. You had some weird stipulations. <laughs> lengthy and brutal battle, only one box remained. Jarrett was just inches away from becoming world champion when all of a sudden, Beetlejuice ran in and hit Double J below the belt. Oh. Beetlejuice accidentally did his job a bit too well, as the first punch hit Jarrett's, well, you know what. Beetle made sure the other punches he threw didn't hit anywhere sensitive, but the damage was already done. Yeah. Lesson learned, don't mess with Beetlejuice. In 2006, Steve-O from Jackass got into a WWE ring. However, he got hit so hard, he blacked out in the middle of it. Oh, damn. Watch the video on screen to see Times wrestlers injured celebrities. 
Damn, that's wild, man. <laughs> Holy shit, nigga blacked out. Uh, I don't know where I'm at. Hey, man. This is what makes wrestling what it is, bro. Like, people want to sit up there and harp on it on how fake it is and all this other stuff but they do what they can to give it a realistic vibe and a lot of the times sometimes the things they do are real the moves they hit are painful and could do some serious damage if not done correctly that's just what it is it's the nature of wrestling that's the beauty of wrestling but comment down below let me know man who was your favorite celebrity to ever get into a wrestling ring whether it was just to talk whether it's to wrestle in my opinion as a recent i think my favorite celebrity just off of what they did in the ring and you know granted i don't listen to bad bunny much you know his music or whatnot but i can respect what he did in that ring was truly and utterly fantastic that's probably my favorite moment of a celebrity legit getting in the ring wrestling a match and it was actually pretty good and he could hold his own he's not a wrestler at all but he looked good out there that was pretty cool but i appreciate all of the support road to 80k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace